appreciate if you're ready to begin. Uh, Absolutely. We can get started here if that's okay. For sure. Cool. I have the pictures in front of me, and um, when I start a consult, Aaron, I like to learn a little bit about a patient's uh, goals. Yeah. So if you could do me the favor of imagining that you are in the future, uh, surgery is done, you're really happy with the final results of surgery. Uh, what are the key features of the result that are most important to you? Like, what do I need to get as correct as I can get it for you to be as happy as you can be when surgery is all done? Yeah, for sure. I would say um, um, I'm looking for a very uh, you know masculine stealth look. Um, I'm wanting um, I do want nipples and nipple grafts included or like in the surgery. Um, yeah. I I okay. I like my scar to like follow my actual like my muscle underneath. I I do think I have a little bit underneath to work with so I, I like the curved you know like the more natural curved lines um okay along the muscle. that's all very sensible yeah muscle uh, shape. i don't see any challenges with this at all i think you're going to do really well you've got a great physique uh Thank athletic you. overall and um uh and we don't need to join the incision centrally in your chest so you're going to have you're going to be able to have the two separate scars uh which for some people is aesthetically favorable yeah absolutely um, you're also a very healthy guy. I don't see really any major concerns here at all. Um, let's spend a little bit of time talking about the steps that lead up to surgery. Okay. And then we can talk about the recovery milestones when surgery is done and see what questions remain from there. Okay. Uh, so in terms of leading up to surgery, we've got an insurance approval part of our team. Uh, they're very good at what they do. They're going to be reaching out to you within the next uh, week or so via email. So keep an eye on your email inbox and your junk mail folder. Okay. And then um, once that email is launched, the kickoff email, it will um, probably be about, be about five to eight weeks for them to achieve insurance approval. Okay. And then they'll call you with the good news, help you pick out a date for surgery. Uh, and then you and I will be in touch about three weeks before the surgery, uh, uh, the surgery date. Okay. Uh, that'll be a virtual preoperative phone call to make sure that everything is as clear as it can be. Mm -hmm. And then... Um, We'll see each other the day before surgery, uh, do our photos and finalize our plan, and then the following day is the surgical procedure. Um, <clears throat> it's not a very uncomfortable recovery for most people, probably about a 3 to a 5 on a scale of 1 to 10. Okay. Uh, you'll be up and around immediately after surgery, but not doing a whole lot, just kind of taking care of yourself and taking it easy. At um, six days after the procedure, you will come back into the office and we'll take all the dressings down and look at everything together. Okay. And at, um, uh, uh, it's, it's, sorry, it's three weeks after surgery, you can get back to cardio. So that'd be like running and cycling and that sort of stuff. Okay. And then at six weeks after surgery, you can get back to kind of um, normal, heavy exertional activities, including going back to the gym and, and uh, doing heavy lifting and that sort of stuff. Okay. So um, that's about it for somebody that doesn't have any organ system issues is a very healthy individual there's really not a whole lot for us to need to cover mm -hmm. uh, but do you have any questions for me or anything you'd like for me to go into more details on for you um i don't think so i think the only question that i did have is um obviously uh like sometimes people like worry that like with like skin skin situations but i was just curious if uh you thought that like using um like tran like trans tape for your chest would prevent um like it would cause any kind of trouble for like skin wise? No, I don't think so. I think that, you know, uh, people have to do what they have to do to kind of help their dysphoria for a while. And, uh, uh, you know, while they're waiting up for, waiting for surgery and that's mm -hmm. all perfectly fine. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't, I don't foresee any trouble here and I say, just keep using it and you should do, should do okay. Awesome. Okay, cool. Yeah. I don't think, um, I don't think I have any other questions besides that. Cool. All right. If there's anything else that comes up, uh, please feel free to just reach out to the team and they will answer anything they can answer. Mm -hmm. And if there's something that they can't answer, then they'll just get us uh, back in touch with one another via telephone. Okay. And uh, cool. Thanks for being available. As I mentioned, the next step is that the uh, insurance approval part of the team will be reaching out to you within the next few days to, uh, to start that process. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Thank you so much. And I, I look forward to meeting you. Thank you. Thank you as well, sir. I look forward to that as well. Have a great day. Bye-bye. You too. Bye. -bye. <laughs> yeah. I'm so excited. Oh, I had to get that. Uh, yeah. And I
been making these videos. My chest has always been for the people. I've been showing you guys these things. I hate these things. I hate watching them. I hate looking at them and handling them. They're not for me. Um, like I always say, they're for you guys, but I am finito. But this is the next step that's just totally required for me and I'm so fucking stoked. I'm gonna go tell my wife how this went and I will see you guys super soon and uh, we'll do I'll, I'm sure there'll be a lot of top surgery content coming up, so stay subscribed, get subscribed if you're not, and I'll see you guys in the next video. God, what a day. What a day.